Getting an MP4 file into your iMovie should be simple, but sometimes it can be a little bit <laughs> less than simple. So let's look at the simple way first. If you go under File, Import, Movies, File, Import, Movies, you should be able to navigate out to your um, MP4 file and import it. That will plop it into your events library and you just drag that into your movie. Of course, that's if everything is perfect and um, not every time, not everything is perfect in real life. So let's take a look at plan B. Let's say file, import, movies didn't work for you to get your MP4 file in. Here's what I did. Drag your MP4 file, which I have here on my desktop, drag that on top of iPhoto. Give it as much time as it takes to generate this movie. And depending on your environment, whether you're, it, it all depends on variables. Um, it might, it might take a long time for it to generate that movie, but I see my movie is right here. So it is possible for you to import movies into iPhoto. Let's just put that to rest right now. Once I have the movie in iPhoto, we'll quit that, quit out of iPhoto. And probably the best thing to do is to quit out of iMovie. Just trust me, quit out of iMovie and then relaunch iMovie. Ah, that's the message we wanna see. Um, it's prompting us iPhoto video thumbnails and you want to click now. You don't wanna click later. You wanna see those thumbnails from the iPhoto video thumbnails. You wanna save now. And again, let it play out for as long as it takes. It could take a really long time. And then once that is finished, then what you need to do is come over here down low on the left hand side and you need to click on iPhoto videos. iPhoto videos. It will not appear in the camera portion, in the camera tab over here. The iPhoto video will not appear over there. Only iPhoto pictures in the library. Still pictures. So you have to know to come to the opposite side of the screen, click on iPhoto videos, and poof, there's your MP4 file. And that's how to get an MP4 file into your iMovie.